What is up, everybody? Tech Chucker here, and welcome to episode 10 of This Week in Dioramas. Now, I hope you enjoyed the little break from the show, but I hope you didn't enjoy it too much because we have got a pretty awesome show lined up for you today. My family and I went on a little vacation to sunny South Dakota. Yes, it was beautiful, and I took a little bit of time to, uh, you know, take some practice shots with my camera. Here you can see a few of them, but enough about that. We've got a huge show lined up for you because I've got a big backlog of projects that you guys have been posting and tagging that I need to showcase. But before we do that, if you're not familiar with how the show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking diorama projects out there, and I showcase them here on the channel. If you would like to be considered for a future showcase, all you need to do is upload your diorama project pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag ThisWeekInDioramas, and that'll give me the best chance of actually finding your projects so that I can showcase them on the show. All right, we are just about ready to get started, but before we do that, we need to reveal the winner of the fan vote from the last episode, episode 9. If you don't recall who we were voting for, it was The Destroyed House by C. Goosey, The Walking Dead Herschel Barn by Jason Young Diorama Mayhem, Subway Station Stairs by Lorenzen Dioramas, The Bat Cave by Emble Creation Customs, and Rao's Kingdom by Drippo-Rama. All of the answers were amazing, but there could only be one winner, and the winner is The Destroyed House by C. Goosey. Congratulations to C. Goosey with a win of around 49% of the vote. This was an absolutely epic project. I'm so glad to be able to have found it and be able to showcase it to everybody. Again, congratulations. Make sure that you stay till the end so that you can see my top five for this week and get an opportunity to vote for this week's favorite. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Make sure you buckle up, get yourself a drink, and get comfortable because this is going to be an awesome show. We've got well over 50 projects to showcase today, and let's go ahead and jump right on into this first one from Lucas Tattoos. It is a Toys R Us 124th scale, 125th scale roughly, uh, display piece that they made, and it is awesome awesome the weathering on this is so good I think it's amazing uh, I, I'm always a sucker for the Toys R Us display pieces as you know as I made one myself and I've seen several now that have come out and I have to say this is one of my top favorite Toys R Us displays that I've seen it is just chock full of so many little details you did a awesome job just look at the graffiti and the paintwork uh the weathering all of this grime that's kind of you know spilling down just an awesome job so great job to lucas tattoos thank you so much for submitting this it is just a great piece look at you've got the chain holding the door shut but they're still open a little bit so somebody's been trying to get in awesome job i love it so go check out lucas tattoos they do some really really good work and here is a really fun display from Drip-O-Rama. Obviously, I'm a sucker for turtles, so when you throw them in, I am definitely loving it. But this is a really cool subway station. Looks really awesome. Your paintwork here is really good. I like that little bit of weathering that you've got. Uh, the grime and whatnot, the dirt that, is, you know, the buildup that happens, especially in a train station or a subway station. This is just awesome. I love it. So awesome job to Drippo Rama. Go give them some love because this is a great little project. And here is another one from Drippo-Rama. This one just was fun. It's a very different style than the one that we just saw. One picture, uh, and I would love to see a few more angles of it, but really cool looking display. Let's see, it's a 1 12th scale. Um, I ran my 1 12th scale house diorama. Looks awesome, so great job to Drippo-Rama. I really love these a uh, little more I don't know, dynamic looking pieces with so many different colors uh, that are a little more, I don't want to call it uh, comic book, but a little more, I don't know, cartoon and and, and contrasting with the, with the colors. So this one's really cool. So go again, go check out Drippo-Rama. 
Here is a really sweet looking display from Xenoworks, HeroWorks. They always do so much cool work here. And this one is obviously very, very awesome. It looks like they've made two of this particular version. What I really like is the light effect right here. That is so cool. So obviously go DM them if you're looking for a commission. They do a lot of alien style uh, work, and uh, but that's not the only work that they do. Uh, alien Predator, all that sort of stuff, some space kind of uh, designs, but they do a lot of other things as well. Let's click in and take a look at some of these pictures. The weathering is always so good on your paintwork. I really love the weathering and your sculpt work. It's always on point. So go check out Xenoworks, HeroWorks. If you are in the market for a commission diorama, check them out. It looks like they do a lot of work, uh, a lot of projects. So hit them up and see if you can make a deal with them. Here is another one from Xenoworks HeroWorks, also to showcase some of their uh, different style that they do. This is kind of like a back alley entrance. Really cool looking display. You've got Mysterio and Spider-Man here. Awesome job, loving the brick. I think it looks really great. Your weathering, again, very, very nice job. So go check out Xenoworks HeroWorks, give them some love and maybe hit them up for a commission or two cool maybe. And here is an entry from Pigment Surgery. Just one picture, but it is still so good that I had to showcase it here. Just look at the sculpt work on these stones. It is so good. I love it so much. And then the paint work as well. Your paint is amazing. You do such good work. There's so many different little tones of color in there that I just love it so much. And then whatever this background is that's kind of glowing blue is amazing. So go check out Pigment Surgery if you haven't already because this is really, really good work. Here's an older diorama project that I've been meaning to showcase and I keep overlooking it for whatever reason from Jason Young Diorama Mayhem. This is a Gremlins, looks to be a bar, you know, a wet bar in somebody's basement or something like that. And I just, I just like it. It's really fun. I, it, you know, you've got the little Christmas lights here. I don't know. It's just a fun little piece. One picture is all we get, but look at that. It's just really cool. So go check out uh, Diorama Mayhem. Give them a like because this is a pretty cool little display. Here's a really well done diorama piece by Galic Galactic Psy. I'm not sure, it's, but it's a 112 scale alleyway diorama, 16 inches across, 12 inches tall, 10 inches deep, magnetized, etc., etc. But it's just a really solid piece. I like the brick that you've got here, and of course the electrical boxes are pretty sweet. Your door looks awesome. Graffiti is looking really nice as well. I just think you did a great job on this. Thank you for submitting it. It's a really solid piece. So awesome job to Galactic Psy. Uh, go give them a like and give them some love. And here are some props and display pieces from one to 10 world. Your attention to detail on your work is so good. I mean, it's, I believe you do, yeah, everything is one tenth scale and this is just, amazing work look at that i mean the tire i don't know where you got that if that's from like a, a model kit or whatever but just look at the newspapers and all of this trash and all that i mean just awesome job i love it this door looks so good it's so realistic looking so awesome job to one to ten world your paintwork your sculpt work all of it is so on point here's a cool little display piece from laser shots I'm not entirely sure what this is uh, just a fun piece probably a little scrap build uh, but I, I like it it's fun and so if you are a beginner any of you out there these are some of those pieces that you could start with something really small and simple and I, I, I probably sound like a uh, a broken record on this but if you're just getting started get out there and start with small pieces so that you're not overwhelmed once you get to a point where you're like oh man i'm stuck on something these small little pieces are things that you can then add later to bigger projects and whatnot but this is a really cool piece so awesome job to laser shots thank you so much for uh, tagging this. Here's a really cool Star Wars display from Hemel Creation Customs. I believe this is from the, uh, what is it, Greedo and Han uh, 
display or a, a scene. Really cool looking piece for six inch scale figures, be it the Hasbro or Bandai or whatever. But this is just a really solid piece. I like it, looks awesome. This curve is really, really cool. And I like what you've got here with the details of, uh, I don't know what these would be, but whatever these little dots are, it really adds to the piece. So awesome job to Hemble Creations Customs. Go give them some love, give them a like, make sure you're following them because they do a lot of really good work and it's just really nice work. So look at that, the detail there is so cool. So awesome job. Here's a display that really just kind of interested me. I'm really interested in this light effect that you've got. This is from Ancient, Tri uh, what is it? Ancient Radical Turtle, Ancient Radical Turtle. Uh, the, it is a Darth Vader display, or at least that's who you've got there right now. I'm not sure if this is like a lava, whatever it is, I don't know, but it is pretty cool looking. So awesome job, would love to see a little bit wider shot, but still pretty cool. You've got an alien in there, so we're mixing different worlds together, and I like it. So awesome job to Ancient Radical Turtle, go check them out. Here's a cool display by Sev underscore DV. I really like this piece. There's a lot going on here. It's kind of like a back alley display. It's 1 12th scale for Marvel Legends. And what I really like is the fact that you've mixed different types of brick together to show, you know, some of those city area buildings are really, really cobbled together. And you you really nailed that. I think you did a great job because you've got this flight of, of bricks and then these. Awesome job. Let's check out some more of these pictures. Really dig in all of the details that you've got with the light here and your little electrical box. The doors look pretty cool. So awesome job. Your graffiti looks really nice. Go check them out. Sev underscore DV and give them a like. All right, here's a really cool dumpster dio piece from Lorenzen Dioramas. I just really like your rust that you've done here. I mean, use, I'm assuming you're using some sort of like a, a pigment powder or whatever to get this look, or are you doing that, uh, what is it, the salt technique, where you put the uh, salt granulars underneath. I, I don't know, I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments if you are watching. But this is just a really cool piece. I like the paint. It's different. It's very unique from a lot of the dumpsters that we see. So great job to Lorenz and Dioramas. Your paintwork, always so good. All right, this one is coming from Mega Music. Uh, we're just going to go through some of the pictures here. It is a New York City diorama, a rooftop diorama. I really dig it. I think your paintwork is looking really, really good, especially on these bricks. So let's just cycle through some more of these pictures. You got an awesome pose there of Spidey. And I think you did a really nice job. I like the window here as well. So awesome job to Mega Music. I think it looks really good. I'm wondering what kind of background this is, if it's more dioramas or if that's just just a uh, like poster or whatever, but I can see there's another diode there. So I would love to see uh, a full on wide shot of all of this because I bet you it's pretty darn epic looking. Here is another cool one from Diorama Mayhem. This is a really awesome sewer display. I just really dig it. But the thing that I like the most is this kind of black light look and the ooze just looks so good. It stands out so awesome. This would be a great display piece to have on a shelf. So awesome job to Diorama Mayhem, Jason Young. Go check them out. Give them a like because this is a really cool display piece. Here is one from Rhino Dioramas. Go check them out. This one just is fun. I like it. It's very different from the typical dioramas that we see because usually it's brick or whatever that might be. And this one is just a really cool looking piece. It's a 1 18th scale uh, Kame, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's Dragon Ball Z. Really digging on the water effect here. I really want to start doing some water effects on my dioramas, and I really like this. So awesome job to Rhino Dioramas. If you don't already know, go check them out if you are looking for some 3D printed pieces or diorama commissions. Check them out. They have a website, rhinodiorama.com, or hit them up on DM on Instagram. Here is a really cool display from DB underscore dioramas, and I'm really digging this piece. I think you did a great job. The, my favorite piece of this entire project is this hole 
where you can see the stud poking through and you can see uh, probably a water pipe, sewer pipe, whatever that might be. I think it is super cool. You did a great job with this little project. I think it is really cool. So there is one thing that I want to talk about for everybody that creates dioramas, whether you're planning on selling them or not, uh, is I recommend that you always paint this front edge, any front edge is painted. Be it, you know, if you're gonna paint it brown to match whatever your floor color is and then whatever your brick color is or whatever that might be, but I highly recommend that you paint this. Uh, one of the things about dioramas is you're trying to create the illusion of a scaled display of something real. And the more, you know, closer you can get to realistic, the better. But when you see, especially the paint drip, this is something that I highly recommend that you paint that. And I even paint the back of my displays, and even if it's just black, I paint them black. That way then, uh, if somebody sees it from the side or whatever, it just looks more complete. So this is not at all meant to be a, a slight or anything, just a recommendation to paint this up. Even if your plan is to butt this up against another uh, you know, piece of floor to make this more modular, I still really recommend that you paint it because what'll wind up happening is, is inevitably you're not gonna get this fully tight and if you see any pink showing through that starts wearing away at the illusion of your scale display. So just a little piece of advice, it looks cleaner. Uh, the other thing also is, and you did a great job, uh, is to sand it so that it is nice and flat. Or carve it, you know, if it's stone, carve it to look like a stone, whatever that might be. Just finish the entire piece so that um, people aren't gonna see the materials underneath. It kind of takes away from that illusion. But still, a great piece, I love it. Uh, especially the work that you did with the weathering uh, on here. Great job, PB Dioramas. Next up is this piece from Chad Chilla, and I have to say this thing is pretty darn epic. I believe it is a Nintendo, uh, what is it, Hyrule Castle inspired by Super Smash Bros. 64. Uh, this is amazing. I love it. It is so epic, and I know that you've got some pictures somewhere of all of your Nintendo figures together with it. This is just so amazing. I love it so much. Just the the cleanliness of your sculpt work. Just look at that. That is so clean. So awesome job to Chad Chilla. Give him a like. Give him a follow. He does some really really cool work. So yeah, this is this is great. I love it. Here is a piece that if you didn't know better, you'd think that this was an actual real building because it is such a phenomenal piece. This is from Johnny Simpleton, does amazing work. I mean, just look at the weathering on this wood here. You can see the little bit of uh, what would be mold or whatever. Awesome job. I mean, if I could get to this point of being able to have this kind of detail in my skills, wow. And your water work here, the resin, you know, you could just pour resin in there, but you actually, you got the algae in there and wow, this is amazing. It is so good. If you're not following Johnny Simpleton, you really need to. Their work is so, so, so good. Look at that. Look at that. It is so realistic and your pictures are amazing. You did a great job with the pictures, but even better, you did a great job with the diorama because this thing is just so good looking. Look at that tree. Let's go back to that tree. Dang it, that's good. Man. So awesome job to Johnny Simpleton. Amazing work. You, you, Your work is just such next level that, it, I mean, I'm blown away. Here's a cool display. I believe we showed off uh, the bottom portion of this display before in a previous episode. This from it is from ste.hobby. It is a pretty epic piece. Look at this stonework. Really, really cool piece, but there is some really amazing things to this. Look at that, this giant base here. This thing is so cool, but we're gonna show you a quick video to sh maybe you'll recognize from a previous episode. 
the base to this display. There we go. Let's take a look at that. There we go. We've got a whole slew of different paths and rooms below this display. I mean, this is so cool. This is awesome. Go, so go check out ste.hobby. This is just so cool. Awesome job, loving it. Nothing more to say because it's so cool. Next up again, I am a sucker for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Dr. Fomenstein, love that name, does not disappoint. This thing is so cool. I love it. Sits right in a detolf. Great job. Here is one of those things going back to the previous discussion that I was having. Finishing off the front really just sets this thing apart even more. And it, it doesn't have to be paint. Look at how they've got these uh, broken up boards uh, essentially blocking off some of the uh, waterway here. Awesome job. I love the attention to detail. Your weathering is so, so good. Look at that. That is so cool. What a great display. Awesome job here. Man, this woodwork looks so good. Awesome job too. Dr. Fulmenstein, and also kudos to the name. I love that name. Go check them out, give them a like, because this is a really cool display piece. Here's a really sweet display piece from Crashbox Customs. Again, they're another one of those dial makers that does some amazing work, and I really appreciate that you are using the hashtag. It really, really is awesome when these bigger, uh, more prolific diorama creators are also using the hashtag. It just makes it that much more fun, and I really appreciate it. But here is, I believe, a bank vault uh, door really really cool piece i love the subtleness of your paintwork here with the weathering it's it's very subtle but that's what i love about it is it's very much more realistic in especially in a, like a bank vault because you know usually bank vaults are taken a little better care of and this is just a great piece we've got catwoman here in front of this about ready to perform a heist do, do you prefer perform heists I don't think you perform them. You do them? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this is just a great piece. Awesome job to Crashbox, Crashbox Customs. If you're not already following them, you should do so. Uh, also hit them up because I know that they've been selling uh, a bunch of the displays that they were doing uh, for the Mezco SDCC display pieces. I think uh, the main one that he was selling off was the, uh, what was it, the Popeye one. So go hit them up if you're interested and maybe they'll do a custom commission for you as well. I don't know. Here's a cool display from Customizing Collectibles. I really like this wall piece. It looks super cool. I like your graffiti on here. This blast effect looks really cool. This is something that once you've kind of established yourself with being able to do the brick walls, adding in these little, you know, details can really bring your dioramas out even more and make them look that much better and this is a really cool piece to do that on i think you did a great job with it your paintwork on the brick is really really nice awesome job so go check out customizing collectibles thank you so much for tagging this next up is a really really epic display from sage jdg again another one of those diorama creators that does a lot of work does commission work so go check them out this is an amazing piece and we'll just go through these pictures because it's kind of a modular piece of multiple buildings together and it is so cool. I love it. Obviously it's got an Asian um, inspiration from, what is it, Naruto? I don't know anything about Naruto, but this display is so good. Awesome job to Sage JDD. Ugh, boy, I can't talk today. Awesome job to Sage JDD. G. Go check them out. Hit them up if their work is something that you're interested in getting a commission of and see if he'll be able to hook you up with something. Here's a cool little diorama from Batman underscore figures 412. It's a really cool little two piece display. It's a wall floor. Looks pretty cool. Uh, your pictures, you do a lot with the contrast in the filters or whatever. Um, so it's not always easy to tell what is pink color and what is just the uh, the 
contrast, but I think this is a really cool piece. I really like your woodwork here. I think these boards look really cool. Uh, awesome job. Again, to those of you that are beginners, uh, th this is something that you can then move up to is a two piece, get a wall, get a floor or ground or whatever that might be, and maybe throw in a door, a window, whatever, and give it a try to really then add a little bit more to your display. Uh, so this is a cool piece. I like it. Go check out Batman figures for one, two. All right, here is a really cool bodega display from El Chombo NYC. If you're not following him on YouTube, go check him out. I will leave his link in the description below doing a lot of really cool work. This is a Brooklyn, New York bodega uh, shop. We'll play the video, see if it plays. This thing is really cool. So I've been following the progress on this display piece. Really, really cool. I love what you've done here. All of the little signage on the windows and doors. The uh, overhang sign looks really, really cool. So awesome job to El Chombo NYC for a really, really cool project. Next up is a cool display from Toupee Dupree. And I think, I think what they're saying is, is the backdrop is just, it's a digital backdrop from Instaprint underscore diorama. And they added their own touch to help bring out the 3D aspect. So I assume they added the uh, fire escapes and obviously the props and whatnot. But I believe the primary wall piece here is just a printout, which is kind of a cool idea. And then obviously they made the little street and the sidewalk. So cool display it's one of those things that number one if you're not really into the paint and sculpt work of doing all of this uh, this stuff you could certainly do something like that and create a really cool display for yourself so go check out to pay Dupree and if you're interested in this kind of backdrop Give them a shout and check out Instaprint underscore diorama and see if that's something that you want to do. Obviously, it's going to speed up the process of building a diorama considerably. And you know what? You can get a really cool display out of it. Here's a cool display from Hemble Creations Customs. Really clean brick brickwork on this. Uh, it's kind of like a two piece display of an upper uh, rooftop display. I really dig it. I think you did a great job. Your brickwork, the paint, and your mortar looks really good. I love the little variations in the brick colors. Anytime anybody does that, it is always going to add to the display, and this looks really awesome. Thank you again for tagging your dioramas. You do a lot of really cool work, and I love being able to showcase this. What I really like is the, eight, what I think it's 1890, scrawled into the brick brick there that looks really awesome and of course the billboard also looks really really cool so awesome job to Hemel Creations Customs I am assuming they sell a lot of their products so check them out and send them a DM if this is the sort of work that you are interested in here is a really amazing diorama this one's coming from Chris Lyons I absolutely love this display. I, something about the color contrast that you've got going with the gray and then your brickwork. Number one is, is so on point. And then all of the rest of the details that you've got going on here is just so amazing. I love this impact crater piece that you've got here. I love the bricks that are kind of bashed in right there and then the rubble that's down right there. I mean, it's just such a cleanly done piece. I mean, this is so amazing. Look at the broken glass. That looks so good. I mean, this is just some next level work that I am absolutely amazed by. Look at the details that are, are carved into this. Look at that, that looks so good. My goodness, what an awesome display piece. Look at that, that is awesome. Just like an impact there, somebody was pushed into it. 
amazing, amazing. This is such a great piece. I love it. Your paint detail is so good. So awesome job. Go check out Chris Lyons. It is the Chris Lyons on Instagram. Give him a like, give him a follow uh, because this is just one of those next level pieces that is so good. Next up is another really awesome piece. This one is coming from Figures and Photography and I really dig this piece. It is uh, pretty small. It's not super huge. I'm assuming this is 1 12th scale, but look at all the details that they've got added in here. Some really nice weathering on your garage door with the paint here and here, and then some more weathering on this door. This door is really impressive looking. I love this. I don't know if it's an AC or exhaust unit, whatever it is, it's really cool. Now look at this little fan unit. That is awesome. I'm wondering where you got that from. If it's, you know, stolen from some toy or something like that or 3D printed. I don't know, but it's so cool. There's so many cool little details on here. Look at the paint detail on this pipe. Awesome job. I'm loving it such great talent here so awesome job to figures and photography thank you so much for tagging this look at that you've got the wires going up to your light and more weathering in the paint there so awesome job this is great make sure you're following them give them a like and look at that look at that so impressive Here's a cool display from one to ten world another one from him uh, this is just a really cool storefront. I love all the detail that you've got here. Uh, you can see over here is actually the garage that we had showcased maybe the last episode, but here's a little bit more of this. And the cool thing here is, is champ underscore arcade sent them uh, this little display piece with his, uh, I guess his uh, profile picture and and uh, Instagram tag. So really cool that people are kind of getting together and making some cool things for each other. This is just a fun display piece. All right, check out this really cool display from Laser Shot. I really dig this one. I think you did a really nice job with the sculpt work on your rocks and the paintwork looks really, really good. And then I love this little debris fence like thing that's all like mashed up and whatnot. So awesome display, really, really cool. I like all these little details, the little blast uh, like effects that you carved into this. So awesome job, go check out Laser Shot and give them a like. Here is another one from Pigment Surgery. This is just an epic display. Now you can see that there, it's actually two shelves worth. They, you've got the top shelf, but we're focusing right now on this bottom shelf. This is really cool. I love it. The light really helps make this thing stand out, but look at all of the details. This is just like a blown out war torn scene. I love it so much. Star Wars, looks like it's a Star Wars display. Well, the top part is Star Wars. I assume this part is Star Wars as well. But look at the detail on here. We're gonna cycle through. I love the brick poking through. Obviously, the paintwork is amazing. It's on point. Look at all the debris just laying around. That is so cool. And then you've got the little pipe here and some sort of control box or whatever. And I love that you've got wires that are just strung around. So cool, this extra detail really, really makes it stand out. And the haze that you've got, I don't know if you specifically sprayed in some sort of fog or whatever, but man, it really makes this thing stand out. It looks so, so good. I love the uh, powder blast like uh, effect around these craters that are obviously they've been blasted with some sort of, I don't know if it's lasers or what, but look at all the details in here. This is just an awesome display by Pigment Surgery. Go give them a like, make sure you are following them. Next up is a prop piece from Janaski Kalutsky, and I wanted to showcase this for two primary reasons. Number one, the sculpt on this is amazing. I'm wondering if this is 3, 3D printed or if you actually just cut this and you know put it together. It looks like either it could be balsa wood or 3D printed, but that and the paintwork on here is so good. Look at this. I mean, the corrosion and the rust work that you did on here is so good. So go check out Janaski Kaletsky. He does some really amazing work and I really love this piece. 
Here's another display from Crashbox Customs. This is for the uh, Thor Ragnarok and Hela display piece or figures from Mezco. Look at all the scroll work, the detail on here, so good. I love that you implemented some of that uh, rainbowish color in the floor part. Just an awesome piece. I love your paintwork. This sculpt is on point. So awesome job. Obviously go check out Crashbox Customs and uh, maybe DM them if you are interested in some sort of a custom uh, commission or something like that. Here's another one from Rhino Dioramas. This is just a really cool uh, basketball court and I am really digging it. It's very clean. It's a little different than what we usually see and I love it. It looks really, really good. Love the woodwork that you've got here for the wood floor. That looks great. Your signs are really, really clean. So awesome job to Rhino Dioramas. This is just a really, really neat piece. Here is a fun display piece, again, from Sev underscore DV. This one is really fun. I like it. It's just an inside of a house. I'm not going to play the videos just because it doesn't seem to ever work that well. I'm having some problems with it, but this is really cool. I'm liking the fireplace that looks really good. Your uh, fire actually looks really, really good. That looks nice. So awesome job. I really dig it. I like this bottom portion that you've got there. Really cool. So awesome job to Sev underscore. Or DV. I really like this display and I like the light. Just a really fun piece. Here is a, another one from 1 to 10 World. This is a dumpster and look at the realism here. Look at that. This just looks so good. Again, if his hand wasn't in there, you wouldn't be able to tell that this wasn't, you know, a real actual dumpster. Awesome job. I love the little chain that you've got here. That really adds to it. But your paintwork is so good. Look at that. Look at all of that weathering that you've got going on here. The debris, the leaves or whatever that junk is looks so good. So awesome job to 1 to 10 world. Your work is always so phenomenal. Here's a cool wall display piece from Drape Dave. I, I really dig it. It looks cool. I, there's a lot going on here with the different uh, uh, graffiti that you've got going on here. I love this part of the brick. I don't know why that stands out so much to me, but I really like it. I know it's kind of nuanced there, but it's really cool. And then this pipe where you've actually got the graffiti going over it, really looking good. And if we scroll through, we're going to see some more of the brick poking through and once we get into let's go a little bit further in I wanted to showcase here some more of the brick I really like this it's a little bit different style it's really really kind of a rundown really old school style brick uh, that you see on really really old buildings so really cool I like it go check out drape Dave uh, he's he submitted quite a bit and uh, there's only so many that I'm going to be able to do this week, but I will showcase a couple more, I believe, in a future episode. But look at that. That is so cool. I think these might be printed and then taped on or glued on to these pieces uh, for this vending machine and the jukebox, and it looks really, really good. So go check out Drape Dave. Really cool display piece. Here's a little bit more of that particular project. You can see the interior here. We're going to go a little bit further. Oh, oh. Look at that, the outlet. That's awesome. I love it when people add that stuff. Those little details, super cool. So awesome job. Here is a display coming from the Punisher Collector, and I really like this display. The brickwork looks really good. I like the paint that you've got on there, and then all of your little signs, wanted posters and whatnot splattered on the bricks there. Uh, I like the effect that you've got with the light going through the window and then the bars there. Awesome job. A nice little AC unit there with the conduit uh, pipes coming out of it. Awesome. I love it. We're going to get a couple more pictures. This door looks great. Look at the paintwork on here. Your weathering really nicely done. This high voltage box looks great. Your sign looks great. So awesome job on this display piece. We'll cycle through some more of these. Uh, I like your your um, attention to detail with the mortar, the different color mortar. You see that on a lot of older buildings and it just really stands out in this display. So awesome piece. I love it. Thank you for tagging this with the hashtag. Go check out the Punisher Collector because this is a really, really nice piece. 
check out this epic display from Nutty Customs. This thing is just huge. Look at this. It's a Saint Saya diorama. Um, I think you've done several from this Saint Saya. Again, I have no idea what that is but I do know that I like this diorama. It looks really cool. Uh, maybe a little bit more color contrast would be awesome. Maybe some more green, a little more weathering to bring, uh, bring the color out a little bit more on it, but this thing is really looking good. Even with just the grayish white color scheme, it still looks really, really good and it's very, very epic in size. And I love these columns, they look really, really good. So awesome job to Nutty Customs, really, really digging this piece, so go check them out and give them a like. And here is another piece from Xenoworks HeroWorks, really digging this piece. I believe that is, is that the Robocop uh, uh, Sentinel or whatever that's called? I think I think that's what it is. Uh, ED tuner. I, I think it is. But this is a really cool display piece. I love your detail work on your brick. It looks so good. Your mortar looks really nice. Your weathering, as always, looks awesome. So go check out Xenoworks. Uh, DM them if you are interested in pieces like this. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. Awesome job. So go check them out. Here is a really cool piece. This is coming from Mag underscore 1999. And let me just see, they're working on this city block dial for some animations. Uh, that is cool. I wonder if it's stop animation that they're doing. If it is, I can't wait to see it. Look at this. This is amazing. Look how big it is. There's so much going on here. But let's get into this a little bit further. Look at these buildings. I love the brickwork that you've got going on here. So much to look at. So many little details that are just really really cool so awesome job to mag underscore 1999 i have a feeling i think this is your first time being showcased here so thank you so much for tagging this i'm uh, really glad to be able to showcase it and i'm hoping that you'll tag me in any animations that you do come up with using this set because it looks like it's going to be pretty epic next up is this display piece coming from bambino dioramas this i believe is a masters of the universe display door Look at the detail on this. It is so good. The sculpt on here is really, really nice. I love it. Your paintwork looks great. The weathering on here, so, so good. Let's see some more pictures here. Look at that. So cool. I love what you've done here. It looks really, really good. And thank you so much for tagging it. Glad to be able to showcase this. Look at that. So cool. I love that little, that little uh, lava. Uh, effect there it looks really good so awesome job thank you so much this is just a great piece next is this display that is actually being reposted by diorama underscore creators i saw it first on facebook but i don't typically uh, showcase anything from facebook and i couldn't find it on instagram but thank you to diorama creators for reposting this this is uh it's from my kaiju, uh, which I believe is a Godzilla. You can see Godzilla in the background. I believe this is a display piece for an actual Godzilla film. Which one? I don't have a clue. Who actually built this? Again, not entirely sure. All I know is this my kaiju is the originating Facebook post that I saw, but look at the detail on this little city block. That is amazing. So whoever it is that actually built this, kudos to you, amazing work. I can't believe that this would just be one person, so I'm assuming there's a small team that's working on this. But either way, one person, a team, amazing amazing my dream job would be to work on movie sets for miniatures like this this would be so cool next up is uh, originally was uh, shared to me by I think plastic attic and it's been posted on a lot of different social media accounts so I'm not entirely sure who specifically built this but this was a display piece that was at, I believe it was a Comic-Con in Mexico. 
Uh, let's see here, like Unboxing Con or something like that. I don't recall, but here is whoever it is that's been working on this. He's actually um, doing some airbrushing on it right now, but you can see the scale of this display. I mean, this is amazing. I love it. This is just so cool. Look at that. I mean, awesome, awesome. I love that he's sitting there smoking a cigarette while he's working on this display piece. So whoever this guy is, awesome job i love seeing displays like this i mean it's just so awesome it's just next level stuff that i'm so glad that i was able to find it and be able to showcase it to all of you next up is another uh doctor who display piece this one's from time capsule scratch builder and this is another one of the doctor uh what is it called the fourth doctor's tardis uh, it's a commission that they made and it's a slight variation to the first one that I showcased a few episodes back. And again, this one is just as cool, if not cooler. I love all the details that you've got within all of these buttons and whatnot on the control panels. This is just so amazing. So much detail, so much creativity in this. I love all of this. I mean, look at that, the little clear bubbles that are covering parts of it. Uh, I mean, this is just amazing. Look at that. Look at that little color panel there. Awesome. Awesome job. Thank you so much for uh, posting this and tagging it because, I mean, this is the kind of talent that is just so inspiring to see. So thank you so much for this amazing work. It's just wow. Wow. So cool. And last but not least, we started the show with Lucas Tattoos. We will end the show with Lucas Tattoos. Here is a, I believe it's abandoned uh, uh, liquor store. And again, I believe this is 124th, 125th scale. Uh, pretty small scale, awesome looking display. Look at that, all the detail on here. So, so cool, I love it. Your paintwork and the weathering on here, really, really good. I love the lights underneath this awning really nice it really makes it stand out makes it look that much more realistic love your little chain that you've got uh, holding these doors shut wow awesome job thank you thank you so much for tagging this it is a great project you do some really amazing work everybody that has been showcased this week has done amazing work thank you so much to everybody for participating for using the hashtag. It is the best way to be able to get showcased. Uh, you know, it, because I took the week off, I really had a lot of displays that I could have showcased and should have. And so we'll probably be throwing a few more of those into next week's episode to make sure that all of the amazing work is getting showcased that we can showcase. So keep on tagging everything. You know what? It's better that I am overwhelmed with too many projects than not enough. So far, I've not been disappointed whatsoever. And I hope you guys haven't been disappointed either. I hope you're really enjoying it again thank you to everybody for participating let's go ahead and get into my top five for this week and i have to say this was really really tough i had 10 10 displays in my top five for the longest time and i just now decided on my top five it was really difficult so i'm assuming this is going to be a really tough vote for everybody here so without further ado my top five are the naruto inspired display by sage jdg the rundown shanty by johnny simpleton battle damaged apartment by the chris lyons the battle damaged star wars display by pigment surgery and the abandoned Toys R Us display by Lucas Tattoos. Make sure that you go to the community tab on my channel and vote for your favorite. Share this video out so that everybody gets a chance to vote. Let's see if we can have the highest vote count ever. Right now, we need to get above 120 votes. So share, share, share this video out and make sure that you are tagging your diorama projects in the future on Instagram with the hashtag this week in dioramas. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Week in Dioramas. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you find out about the next episode. Go out and share this video. Let's grow this show as much as we possibly can. And even more importantly, 
Go upload your diorama projects and tag them with the This Week in Dioramas hashtag so I can find them. And I will see you next week. Thank you.